Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a wish list video. Um, I have, I think it's been an entire year, I think, since I've done a wish list. And honestly, I'm at a place right now where I feel like my collection is like all but complete. Um, which is really weird to hear myself say after all these years. But yes, sorry, um, smoke detector again. Sorry. A little aside, uh, the smoke detector battery is something that we're gonna have to deal with. I have to get my, I have to coordinate to get my super into the room with the big huge ladder because I have really tall ceilings. Um, and that's been a struggle. So this is just something that we're gonna have to deal with for the time being. I apologize and I appreciate you guys sticking with me even though it's really annoying and I'm sorry. All right, so I really feel like I've reached a place of purse peace. I feel like my collection could be complete um, in its current form there I have been putting off but I am selling one bag that bag when I do sell it or when I finally do when I finally do get around to selling that bag I will be putting it towards one of these on this list uh, so let's get started here are some of my favorite bags that I am just loving at the moment let's get started number one uh, this is one that we got in at work recently I had never seen it before never even heard of it didn't know it existed and the moment I saw it I put it on my wrist and my heart stopped. I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, I This is called the Hermes Hinged Bracelet. It's um, one of the enamel ones. It comes in like both gold, silver, and rose gold hardware, and it has a, the uh, stripe of different colored enamel, whichever you pick. Some of them are patterned. I don't know. Like I like when the Hermes accessories don't have like a giant H on them, but you kind of like look at them and you still know that like, wait a minute, that's something. That's what I like in my Hermes accessories, and uh, this completely does that. Um, I would pair it with my Louis Vuitton bracelet. I just find it super cool, uh, and I've been obsessed from the moment I saw it for the first time. That 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 is a definite, you will see one one day. Hermes hinge bracelet is number one. If you remember from last year's wish list, this was on it. This is the Louis Vuitton uh, Bloomsbury in the GM size. I wanted it as a laptop bag that I could wear crossbody and it does absolutely fit that bill. However, however, it was between this bag and the YSL Matalas, Matalasse Shopper and Chevron and I should have gone with that one. I like, I am kicking myself that of the two options, I went with this. This is the bag that I'm gonna be selling because it just doesn't exactly work for um, what I need it for. And the YSL Shopper is exactly what I need. So this one is a carryover from many, many wish lists past. And I think that I'm pretty solid in determining that this is gonna be something that's right for me. You guys have heard about this in every single wish list for possibly two years at this point, so it's getting a little pathetic that I still haven't bought it. Well, I mean, the fact is I just haven't found the one that I want um, in the right color combo, but I digress. Also too, a couple of months ago, I did buy this Fendi bag. This Fendi bag is very similar, um, is very similar in like shape and structure kind of to the YSL that I want, but um, you know, I just sort of like the idea of having it in, just having it in a gray. And to be honest, I've been scouring the market for who even knows how long, and I have not found it pop up in the color and leather combinations that I want. It has taken a year and a half, it's taken 18 months at this point. I still haven't found it, but my hope goes on. I'm gonna sell that one, and I'm just gonna wait it out and see if I can find the YSL Shopper in Poudre Leather in gray. Hopefully, ne come next wish list time, that bag will be in my collection and I won't be talking about it having not had it, having not purchased it. Hopefully, I will find one. Um, next up is sort of like a surprise for me. I didn't think I was gonna like this, uh, but this is the Louis Vuitton Palace BB in monogram in black. Um, number one, I'm not a huge fan of the monogram with black combos out there, and for whatever reason, this bag does it for me. It totally works. I have no explanation for as to why why I feel that way when normally monogram and black and me are like, Meh, I don't like it. I remember years ago wanting the regular standard or medium whatever size of the Palace. The Palace is great. It's just that for that 
size of a bag, sorry, the Palas in the larger size is also great. I've always loved it and I will love it forever. Um, they actually make one in pistachio, the color is called pistache and I think it's beautiful and I have literally had to stop myself from, from buying that one uh, simply because you know me, I work, I carry my laptop with me to work and um, if it's going to be a bag that size, it's got to fit this and if it doesn't, then what are we even doing? The opening is a little bit more narrow than I would like, which is why I go for the small size instead. The small, it kind of is along the same lines as a, I would say maybe like a Speedy 25 kind of, um, but for me it's just a lot more like, it's like a cooler Speedy 25 um, with black and it just has like little handles, it's super cute. Um, I do find it maybe a little bit similar, possibly, potentially, to my Givenchy Mini Antigona, but whatever, this is a wish list. So playing around with it, I love this bag. I think it's such a great buy and I want it. I want it really badly. <laughs> Next up is a vintage bag. You guys know how much I love the vintage. This is the Louis Vuitton. It's called the Boulon. The Boulon is a vintage bag from, I wanna say like the early to mid-ish 90s. Um, I, of course, because I'm me, I want the largest size. They make this bag in a 35 centimeter and that's the one I want. It's a shoulder bag. It's basically, honestly, it's basically this in monogram only a little bit wider that's exactly what i feel like i need from this bag here like if this bag were wider we would we could be friends but it's too narrow and it doesn't stand up on its own um all of those things are addressed in the boulon and the, you can see the prices out there are not ridiculous and crazy that is uh something i definitely have my eye on okay. and next this is just a complete wild card i was you know out and about and just happened to spot this from you know god knows where i don't think this is actually something i would pull the trigger on buying you're gonna see why in a minute because the price is hold on 34.90 and it's like okay no relax it is not often where i do find myself liking stuff that you know is in the current seasons and this i just think is super cool so this is called the Fendi Baguette Cage. It comes in both white and black, and it is a Zuka print Fendi Baguette, which I don't really love the silhouette of the baguette, but it has this like leather cage detailing around it. It has an extra strap, and it has like all of this super cool, unique stuff, and something about it, I just swoon. I think it's so incredibly cool. And then it has little pockets on the outside that are like the size of AirPods, and I don't know, I'm obsessed. I think it's amazing. I think it is so amazing. If I, you know, had it, had the spending power to spend 3,000, hold on, 3,000, yeah, 3490, uh, this might be what I would buy. Although I have to say like, that is a lot, like that is asking a lot for canvas, but I just do think that this bag is so incredibly cool. So there's that. By the way, the cage detailing is completely removable and you are left with a monogra monogram Zuka print baguette underneath. Um, you can opt to wear the cage or not. I am pretty sure that the little pockets on the side may or may not come off, but it's just like, what a unique concept. Fendi, I think has been kind of on the cutting edge of like accoutrement on, on handbags like Fendi started the strap you thing I'm pretty sure um, they have just they're the ones that do it and everyone else follows suit which is really I find really interesting so who's to say that like you know Louis Vuitton and Dior and all the other other people um, don't start doing this as well matter of fact I think hold on I think Fendi may may have started potentially the micro bag trend as much as as much as I dislike it, like props to them for you know everyone following behind them. That's that's kind kind of awesome. Fendi and I, I think are having a moment. I definitely want to incorporate more Fendi into my life, and I think this was a great start. Okay, uh, next up is another current bag. This is the Valentino V logo. Um, I love what Valentino is doing right now. I love their new logo. I think it is so incredible. The hardware is the hardware is like I don't know. It's like artwork. It's so big. It's such a statement. Um, 
the belts are cool like normally i'm not into like a logo belt but i think that the valentino one for some reason just does it really really nicely um but with the bags i really like the black or even potentially like the green um, i like that the hardware extends beyond the flap so it's sort of like a, it almost sort of acts like a handle to open it again super unique super cool and I don't know i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i love the new valentino I, I love it i love it and of course this is a mini shout out to the dior tramontane i haven't forgotten about you and lastly the ysl reeves gauche shopper tote there's no i don't need this bag i don't need this bag i really don't i don't need the bag but i lust after it Ditto for the camera, the, the Lou camera bag from last year. Um, that honestly, I feel like I might have a better use for in my wardrobe, but neither of these do I actually need. Um, I just think they're great. I think like for me right now, where my style is at the moment, I am into YSL and Fendi. Um, Baton isn't doing it for me like at all, almost. And um, Chanel is, Chanel is too expensive. I'm sort of right now where my where my my eyes are is Fendi, um, Dior, and Saint Laurent. Those are like my three faves at the moment. Um, those are sort of like their styles and signatures are sort of like where my taste is sort of going for now. And we'll see how this goes. But um, yeah, hopefully after I sell this one bag which I've been putting off because I've been super busy, but after I sell that one bag, then one of these hopefully will end up in my wardrobe. Um, you guys know, I am no stranger to waiting years and years and years for a specific item. Um, so far, it's been at least, it's been close, close to 18 months since of, of me being actively on the hunt for the gray shopper from YSL. Um, and I want to know what is your longest, what is uh, your longest hunt been? Um, mine, mine was five years for the Isabel Marant shoes. I'll, I did a video about this uh, couple, I guess, last year, and I'll leave that here for now for you guys to enjoy. But comment them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.